Um, I can say from the defensive line, we made it a point of emphasis to, to be a, a defensive line led team. So I feel like you know, today's the first day we've done that, and we can keep building on that. Um, hey, I don't know a bunch of guys. I can say the majority of the guys were forward coming out of here and getting better. Um, I mean, we were, like I said, we were flying around. There's a lot of energy today. And, and if we keep that energy up for us again, then that will be a problem. Kendall, what do you see from some of those young defensive ends? What's caught your attention? Um, they all want to learn, first of all. Um, you know, they don't know everything yet. They're really just running around with their head cut off right now because, you know, things are going fast. But one thing that they, everybody wants to learn, all the young guys want to learn. And um, I know I can say thank you, same thing for Dax, uh, Matthew, um, you know, Benedict. He's, he's been here for a while, but he's still a young guy. I know all those guys just want to, want to learn. So. Yeah, I think it made him tougher. Um, I think it was a blessing in disguise because he's not defending double teams as much anymore on the outside. And uh, he gets to play ball uh, when he knows how to do it, you know, pass it. And um, on the run, uh, I mean, I'd rather face a tackle than, you know, a guard in the center any day. So I know that's a lot easier for him and I know it's a, uh, he's going to lose some bonus in two as well. So I, I think he's learned a lot over the past couple of years. Yeah, yeah, Sean's been looking great, you know. He looks, he looks like he's getting back in shape and uh, in football shape. And uh, he's been looking like he can move on his knee and stuff like that. So I, I'm looking forward to getting him out there. And we can get him through what he's been through the past couple of years. It's refreshing to see a guy who's still going to have a smile on his face. Oh, yeah, that's just the type of person Sean is. He's going to go out there no matter what, to him with the situation. He's going to have a smile on his face and bring energy to the team. And that's what we need for him. How much Georgia Tech prep have you guys done, if any, the first week of camp? Uh, the first week of camp is kind of just, you know, a lot of individual stuff. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to knock the rust off because I, I didn't go through spring. Um, just knocking the rust off, uh, getting acclimated to having pads and full pads on and getting back in football shape. And I, I think look, looking forward, we're going to get back into Georgia Tech. I know we watched film on them this spring. Uh, we know what they can bring to the table and all that. So uh, we're going to look forward to doing that. What do you see the problem with us so far this preseason? I think uh, last year he was kind of playing both uh, tackle and end, and this year he's totally focused on playing end. And I think that you know shows for itself because uh, I know last year he had a lot, had a lot of things going through his head, and uh, this year he's focused on one position, focused on end, and he's driving that. Kendall, what have you seen out of Ty Chandler?